Beautiful. A new lower radiator hose. And as you can see, she's just draining the last of the coolant out. So I've managed to actually I was surprised at how easy the access to the lower radiator hose was. Because you can actually get to it with a 10 mil socket, a small extension, as long as it, uh, it's pointing relatively downwards, which mine was thankfully, and surprisingly that lower radiator hose wasn't actually stuck on, it moved right off real easy. So now, what I've got to do is just get the top one off the water pump. And I've just realised my compressor is the twin cylinder. It looks like. Looks like I've got the twin cylinder compressor. So that's not bad, I guess. Not that I want to imply that the single one was bad, because I wouldn't know. I'm sure they were just as sturdy. So. What I'm going to have to do, though, is I want to get a, another grommet for here and as you can see for this one in here and that hose goes through the firewall and there's no rubber grommet there so I'm going to get one for that Just pick that up from a rubber joint. That won't be any problem whatsoever. A generic one will go in. I just cut the center to size. Not a problem. My yeah, heater. God, I love the little sound of gurgling that comes out of the engine when you're draining it. I was actually thinking, will I take the radiator out and clean it? Have it taken and clean it? But you know what? I've had a look at it and it is actually pretty clean. Now, Apart from a couple of the cooling fins, as you can see, being a little bent. All right, and there's a couple on the front. Uh, where is it? There it is. Just a couple like that. Well, actually, 
That is it. The others are just a, bit of, oh yeah, a little bit of discoloring. But apart from that, Not too bad. The radiator is actually in pretty excellent condition. Despite the bugs on it. Uh, and the cobwebs. Because unfortunately my little girl here hasn't moved for a while. A couple of months, in fact. And then once I get her up and running again, I'm going to have to relay this winch cable under tension again. Or, I say again, for the first time, for me, anyway. But at least I got it on, and while it's off, unspoiled, I'll lubricate it with used engine oil, and then roll it back up under load. Now, I guess the hardest part in this will now be the getting that top clamp off that lower radiator hose at the water pump. Uh, okay. Well, while trying to diagnose my starting why my juice won't start. This power line comes up the main cable and goes right behind this exhaust, flexible exhaust pipe. Now obviously this thing's been sitting against it. Sorry about the blur, but you can clearly see the cable's exposed because the insulation is melted. See that? And that is that cable, this one. So if this is melted because of the, obviously because of the heat and the fact that it's been resting on it, Hopefully that's my issue. As you can see, it goes into the, that wiring loom. As you can see, I always thought that was too close. But look at it. Friggin' hell, it's melted and camera a bit further away so we can focus. Obviously it's a bit too much for it to focus on, but there you have it. So hopefully that's my issue, so I can just... Just re-insulate that, and tie it up away from there. Hopefully that might fix my problem with any luck.